But anyhow, in that whole article we talked about this morning, it was all about how banks are just getting into crypto because they have to. And it was something that Mike Novogratz said. He goes, look, banks are getting pushed into this space, not because they want to, but because they have to. And if they don't do it, they're going to get blockbustered and they're all going to be out of business because this is what people want and this is what uh, people will go to. And Wells Fargo sees the writing of the law and that's why they put out this little report. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyhow, multinational financial giant Wells Fargo says Bitcoin's 12-year history and performance as the best performing asset of 2020. First of all, it's the best performing asset of the decade. They need to really get get up with the times uh, and not just say, oh, it did pretty good this year. It's been doing good for the, like the past decade. And in all honesty, it's the best performing asset class of all time. It's beaten every stock, gold, silver, oil, everything. So when they start talking about, eh, it's not bad 2020, yeah, whatever. So but it, it really doesn't matter what, what really their conclusions come up to. Uh, we know what it is, and that's what's important. I wish that they would uh, inform their audience a little bit better, but hey, nobody's perfect, right? So they state, if you feel left out of the gains, don't. The chart highlights that Bitcoin has indeed outperformed gold and S&P 500 index over the last three years, more than that. But look at the volatile journey Bitcoin investors had to endure to get there. And they are right. Uh, if you're watching this with me, you've probably been around the game for quite some time. And this is how you know you've earned it. Because you can't just come in and just you know show up with no ticket and get on the bus. It doesn't work like that. You got to go through the ups and the downs. You got to go through the dips and the valleys. And, and you did that. And so just enjoy it. All you got to do is not do something stupid like, like sell everything. So just be aware that they want your Bitcoin. These big players want it. So just uh, keep your hands strong. Lastly, it states cryptocurrency investing today is a bit like living in the early days of 1850s gold rush, which involved more speculating than investing. Over the past 12 years, cryptos have risen from nothing to $560 billion in market cap, and fads don't typically last 12 years. Talk to that economist Nobini, whatever his name is. The guy who hates on Bitcoin all the time and says it's a bubble. He's been saying it's a bubble for like the last seven years. Moron. Cryptocurrencies can become investment worthy one day, though. Uh, there are good reasons for this, reasons that every investor should hear. As we roll in 2021, we'll be discussing the digital asset space more. It's upside and downside. That's a bunch of the malarkey. What they're doing is they're just preparing their customers to go, hey, guess what? We're going to start to have some Bitcoin, but we'll custody it. But you can have it. It's paper Bitcoin, but you don't know the difference. So you're going to buy it anyhow. And that's really what it comes down to. This is uh, the actual report, uh, Wells Fargo.com Investment in Institute. And if you just do a quick search for Bitcoin, and they just talk about the same thing we just said. But it's good to see that these entities are really getting into it. And they actually understand that, hey, if we don't get in this now, we're going to be left way behind. But I would like to remind you, you and I know how Wells Fargo operates. But if you're new to the game and you don't really realize, just remember who you're dealing with. Wells Fargo had a nice little scandal not too long ago where they created millions of fraudulent savings and checking accounts on behalf of Wells Fargo clients without their consent, on top of other things they've done in the past, which have been a little bit shady. So don't think that they have your best interests at heart. You need to do your own research and you need to make sure that you're making the right choice and don't let these guys dictate exactly what you should be doing. Just me on my soapbox, very sorry. And that's it. So, hey, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Also, there was a thing about Filecoin that I was I was going to talk about at the end. And this is what I was going to say. Trade the chain. If you don't know, they use sentiment analysis. So there's technical analysis. There's fundamental analysis. And trade the chain uses sentiment analysis. And what they do is we know that that this market is moved a lot by emotion and a lot by news and knee-jerk reactions, let's be honest. So when you get something that is uh, recently listed or there's some kind of talk about mergers and acquisitions or there's some kind of like partnerships, that will usually pump up the price. There's a lot of data that to support that. So what Trade the Chain does is they have these bots that scour the whole internet. They take a look at all the different things that are going on. On top of they have, they are one of only four crypto companies that has a direct API into Twitter and they're crawling that all day long, all these billions of tweets. And what they find is things like this, uh, Filecoin now available on Coinbase at 1140, which I'm like, okay, that, that could be a reason for a little bit, but this is interesting. Filecoin is launching at blah, 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 and on the iOS and Android apps within the next 15 minutes. That was today, 11.39 a.m., and we saw a little bit of a peak. 
I think because of the, these types of things, also on top of like the different things where it says like, hey, this is getting listing right now. So if things get listed, usually it goes up and all the different things that it talks about, this is what makes Trade the Chain great. And it, what's interesting is that it's not just stuck here on the internet so you can go check in. They have a Slack app and it's integrated into that. So it gives you alerts when all these things are coming about. So if you want to know like all the new listings, well, that's what Trade the Chain does. It crawls all those blog posts, all the exchanges information, their websites and everything. And also the API for Twitter, because sometimes they, they tweet things out and it gives you the information a lot faster than what, what people normally will get the information at. So if you want to take a look at Trade the Chain, there's a link in the description below. It looks just like this. And you can check it out for 14 days. And if you don't like it, there's a uh, no questions asked uh, money back guarantee. So can't beat that. So give it a try if you want to. Uh, I have a membership there. I like it and uh, kind of cues me on things that are going on. All right, so that's it. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, the two more is going to pop up on your left and right. I'll let YouTube do its magic. And that's all. So I will see you on the next one. Bye.